Disclaimer. This material is for entertainment purposes only, and for no other purpose. Please consult a legal professional for proper legal advice, including understanding what this document means. Please consult the actual legal document for all legal uses. This presentation is no substitute for the actual file document. We cannot help you if you do not follow this simple, reasonable, and good advice. Please let us know about any errors in this presentation so that we can correct them. Unfortunately, we cannot and will not correct any errors made in the underlying documents, so please make sure the error is a presentation error. Thank you very much for your time, support, and interest. We hope you enjoy this content. Sponsors Unfortunately, there are no video sponsors or channel sponsors at this time. If you would like to sponsor us, please reach out. All donations are welcome. Thank you. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and share this video with others. Doing this will help us reach other interested people, and will help to support this channel. We appreciate your action. Thank you. Select Committee to Investigate the January 6th Attack on the U.S. Capitol, U.S. House of Representatives, Washington, D.C. Deposition of, Cynthia Cindy Chaffian, No Show. Thursday, October 28, 2021. Washington, D.C. The deposition in the above matter was held in room 1540A, Longworth House Office Building, commencing at 10 a.m. Appearances For the Select Committee to Investigate the January 6th Attack on the U.S. Capitol. Name Redacted, Senior Investigative Counsel. Name Redacted, Investigative Counsel. Name Redacted, Chief Clerk. Interviewer, All right. We're on the record. Today is Thursday, October 28, 2021. The time is 10 a.m. We are convened in the Longworth House Office Building, Room 1540A, for the deposition of Cynthia Chaffian, to be conducted by the House Select Committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. The person transcribing this proceeding is the House stenographer and a notary public authorized to administer oaths. My name is Redacted, and I am the designated staff counsel for the select committee for this proceeding. I would ask that the other staff present please identify themselves for the record. Name Redacted, also staff counsel. Name Redacted, Chief Clerk. Interviewer. For the record, it is 10 a.m. and Ms. Chaffian is not present. On September 29, 2021, Chairman Benny Thompson issued a subpoena to Ms. Chaffian, both to produce documents by October 13, 2021, and to testify at a deposition today, October 28, at 10 a.m. The subpoena is in connection with the Select Committee's investigation into the facts, circumstances, and causes of the January 6th attack and issues relating to the peaceful transition of power, in order to identify and evaluate lessons learned, and to recommend to the House and its relevant committees corrective laws, policies, procedures, rules, or regulations. This inquiry includes examination of how various individuals, to include Ms. Chaffian, and entities coordinated their activities leading up to the events of January 6, 2021. Ms. Chaffian has not produced any documents or appeared today to testify. I will mark as Exhibit 1 and enter into the record the Select Committee subpoena to Ms. Chaffian, included with which are the materials that accompanied the subpoena, which include a letter from the Chairman, a document schedule with accompanying production instructions, and a copy of the deposition rules. Chaffian Exhibit No. 1 was marked for identification. Interviewer I will mark as Exhibit 2 and enter into the record an email exchange between Name Redacted and Ms. Chaffian from September 28, 2021, until October 18, 2021. Chaffian Exhibit No. 2 was marked for identification. Interviewer, in sum and substance, the email exchange reflects as follows. On September 28, 
Name redacted contacted Ms. Chafian via email to ask whether she would accept service of the subpoena via email. Ms. Chafian responded and confirmed she would accept service via email, and advised she was in the process of securing counsel. The following day, September 29, at approximately 5.18 p.m., sent the subpoena and the accompanying materials in Exhibit 1 to Ms. Chafian via email. Ms. Chafian responded at 5.44 p.m., quote, received. End quote. Eight days later, on October 7, emailed Ms. Chafian to inquire whether she had retained an attorney. Ms. Chafian did not respond. Six days after that, on October 13, at approximately 10.06 a.m., that is, after the deadline to produce documents pursuant to the subpoena, again emailed Ms. Chafian to inquire whether she had dropped documents off at the location specified by the subpoena. Ms. Chafian responded at 10.29 a.m. that she had not produced documents and that she had not yet retained an attorney. She also requested an extension of unspecified length. Name Redacted responded at 11.58 a.m. with an extension of the document production deadline until October 18, 2021. At 10 a.m. Name Redacted also explained that this extended deadline was not contingent on Ms. Chafian retaining an attorney and invited Ms. Chafian or her counsel to call to discuss whether any further extension of the deadline would be necessary as a reasonable scheduling accommodation. The email also emphasized that the October 28 deposition was still scheduled to go forward. On October 18, at approximately 12.44 p.m., Name Redacted again emailed Ms. Chafian after the extended deadline for documents had passed and the Select Committee staff had not received any documents. Name Redacted also reminded Ms. Chafian that the October 28 deposition was still scheduled and advised Ms. Chafian or her attorney to reach out to discuss logistics for her appearance. In summary, Ms. Chafian did not respond to Name Redacted's October 18th email. Finally, I will mark as Exhibit 3 and enter into the record an email from name redacted to Ms. Chaffee and sent Monday, October 25, 2021, at approximately 12.53 p.m., as well as an attachment thereto. Chaffee and Exhibit No. 3 was marked for identification. Interviewer, in the email. Name redacted advises Ms. Chafian that he is attaching a letter from Chairman Thompson and notes that her deposition is still on schedule for October 28. He also notes having left Ms. Chafian several voicemails regarding logistics for the deposition and asks for a return call. In sum and substance, the attached letter from Chairman Thompson to Ms. Chafian summarizes the email exchange included in Exhibit 2 and notes Ms. Chafian's failure to produce documents by the extended deadline on October 18, 2021. The Chairman's letter explains Ms. Chafian remains under a legal obligation to produce documents called for in the subpoena and to appear for a deposition on October 28 at 10 a.m. The letter also warns Ms. Chafian of the consequences of willful noncompliance including a potential invocation of contempt of Congress procedures outlined by Title II of the United States Code, Sections 192 and 194, or a civil action seeking enforcement of the subpoena. I will note for the record that the time is now 10.06 a.m. and Ms. Chafian still has not appeared or communicated to the Select Committee that she will appear today as required by the subpoena. Accordingly, the record is now closed as of 10.06 a.m. Whereupon, at 10.06 a.m., the deposition was concluded. Thank you for your time. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and share this video with others.